Hey, and welcome to the Izzy Chinche Show. Your family, for the most part, they don't want you to be wildly successful. They want to not have to worry about you. And it's not because they're hating on you or whatever. They just don't want to have to worry about you. I am so pumped that you tuned in. My goal with the show is to inspire and motivate you to the best of my abilities. I believe our world needs more leaders, and I believe that you, my listener, are a leader, and that you have the opportunity to impact your community and family by simply being you. I truly am here to try and serve and offer value to your life, and if you enjoy the show, it would mean the most to me if you could please either rate, subscribe, or share the show with anyone who you think might benefit from listening. Together, we can make this world a better place. So thank you so much for listening, and I hope you love today's episode. All right, so we are already halfway through 2024, which is kind of crazy, but kind of awesome, because 2024 has been awesome. I hope it's been awesome for you, too. And so today I'm going to talk about my top three lessons that I have learned in the first half of 2024, and I am excited to see what I learned in the next half of 2024 because I'll have to do a follow-up podcast. So the first thing that I have learned in the first half of 2024 is that it pays off to be consistent with no reward. And we live in a society where we do not practice delayed gratification. We pretty much get everything that we want kind of instantly whether it's food, TV, movies, comfort, hot, cold, whatever. We get whatever we want kind of as soon as we want it. So delayed gratification has really, I've really seen it pay off because just even with my podcast, with my content, I became so consistent dropping a podcast every single Monday, um, posting every single day for months and months and months and months with zero, almost zero payback. Like, I'm talking since I started in September to like February, almost no traction. So September, October, November, December, January, February, that's like six months of just posting with like getting nothing back pretty much, not getting in virality, not feeling like you're landing, but still just doing it, doing it, doing it, and really focusing on getting good at the thing you're doing, not getting, not having success at the thing that you're doing, just getting better not getting gratification, not getting um, validation, literally just getting better and doing it even though you're not seeing the payoff. Like I've just been really reminded of that because then I finally started to get momentum and get virality and start getting more traction in business and all the things. But if I would have stopped after five months of being like, well, you know, I tried it for five months and I got no payback and it didn't work out. I never would have gotten the payback that I'm getting now and that I will continue to get. Uh, But that was just because I committed to something, stayed consistent, even though I didn't get payback, I I didn't get rewarded. I didn't get the reward. I had to wait in order to get it. And it just really reminded me like delayed gratification, waiting, staying consistent, even though you're not getting feedback, you're not getting traction, it's not going the way that you thought, it's not going well, it might be failing, but at least you're staying consistent. And I felt very reminded of that this year. So I want to encourage you if you're starting something or uh, in something and feel like, dude, it is just not working. The truth is you just probably haven't been in it long enough and you need to just keep on pushing because things things that are worth having, that are valuable, don't happen like this. It takes time. And so don't give up. It's not a sign that like it's not working, it's not happening. You just need to keep pushing through. And you'll probably have that breakthrough. And it's probably closer than you think. It's probably closer than you think. Because I really think about it, I'm like, mm, six months of grinding it out every single day and not getting a return is not that long. Six months is really, really not that long. But we just live in a culture that's not patient and we're not taught to wait. We're taught to get things right away. We have freaking Amazon, which is basically magic. You want something and then it comes to your door, which is like kind of wild. It's like literally almost like magic. So we're used to that. So just reminding yourself like, dude, the good things take time. 
And just because it's not working right away doesn't mean that it's not going to work. You just haven't stayed in it long enough. So that's number one thing in the first half of 2024. Number one thing. That's the first thing that I uh, learned in the first half of 2024. The second thing is to get rid of expectations from people that we feel like should be supporting us. And I talked to a couple of like friends and entrepreneurs on this and I was like, the truth is your family for the most part, they don't want you to be wildly successful. They want to not have to worry about you. And it's not because they're hating on you or whatever. They just don't want to have to worry about you. So they are probably not going to support those big jumps that you're making. And even further, like sometimes your family just isn't going to have your back. And that's not that abnormal. (laughs) right? So sometimes your family isn't going to show up when you think they would show up for you. And that's okay. It's removing the entitlement that they should, that, you know, your mom should do this or your dad should do this or whatever, whatever. And maybe like, yeah, maybe like your parents should be doing certain things that they're not, but it's so much harder to live your life hoping that people are going to show up for you that just aren't. And you're not alone in that. That's not like a crazy, uncommon thing. Like your family, like when you launch something for your first time, like, and you think your family is going to be the one that's going to support it the most, a lot of times they're not. They're just not. And that's okay. That's not like, how dare, no, that, that's not their responsibility. You're not their responsibility. You're not. They got their own lives to worry about. Their focus is not supporting you launching what you're doing and just getting rid of those expectations and that entitlement that your family is going to support you and have your back and blah, blah, blah is very freeing. I know this might sound like a little dark or like depressing, but it's like actually really, really freeing because it makes space for the people like your chosen family, the people who are like actually meant to be there, meant to have your back and are going to support you. And a lot of time that's you. You're supposed to be the one that's supporting you and honestly relying on God. That's huge for me to be like, all right, family isn't going to support in this time. That's okay. It's not their job. It's my job. I got to figure that out. And I got to, I got to trust, uh, I got to trust God and I got to trust myself in, in this time. And so that's been really, really pivotal and very freeing, very, very freeing to just kind of shed the entitlement that they're, you know, supposed to have your back. Like they're not like they kind of are, but like, they're not, this is the entitlement that's in like a perfect world. And so it's very freeing to just shed that and be like, all right, what am I going to do about this? And can I go about my life? And then you realize you totally can and you're totally fine. And you know, it, you often don't need what you think you need from certain people in your life. So that was very, very impactful. Um, and just helpful to be able to shed that and, move forward in a space that is freeing and exciting. And, you know, it's, it's hard to live our lives when we have expectations of people around us. It's like, it's so much harder to have expectations and having zero expectations and limiting expectations is incredibly freeing. And so that's one of the biggest lessons, you know, that, um, first half of 2024 has taught me. So first is, Doing things without reward pays off and it'll pay off in the long run. And the second one is, you know, shed expectations of family members and stuff because like you don't need them to do the thing. And third, I am literally blanking on so hardcore, but I'm actually thinking of, oh, I remember it. So (laughs) my third is working out doesn't have to be complicated and I always trained And doesn't have to be miserable because I always trained at like a high level of either soccer or jujitsu once I left soccer as an athlete. And I realized to get the amount of gains that I want in my life, you, I really only have to lift about four times a week, which to me is crazy because I'm always, I actually do like to work out every single day and I get to get movement in and I do like Pilates a couple times a week outside of my lifts but for like the main results to strengthen the areas, to get the gains in the spaces that I want to, it's really four times a week. And so I'm going to kind of break down what I now do for my workouts um, because I have a knee injury that I kind of have to work around and be flexible. 
but I have four days. I have two leg days and I have two upper body days. I have a push day, which I do like bench and whatever, a pull day, a lot of rows and back stuff. And then my two leg days are really just like, I, I don't split it up. I do glutes and quads on those days. And I just spread them out and I just hit it and have a long workout and get it done. But that has like simplified my life so much because I used to not have a really good rhythm. I'd be like, oh, I'm gonna go to the gym, but now like have it locked in my brain. Okay, I have two leg days a day and two two leg days a week and two upper day, upper body days a week and that's it. And I'm like, I can manage that. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty easy thing to follow. And four days a week, I don't know, that's like just over half the week. So it just doesn't feel like that overwhelming and like that much. And I was thinking about that. I was like, I don't know how many other people know this and know that it can be that easy. And like, yeah. So anyways, that's been really game changing for me. And then really it's just like putting in the same, keeping a certain amount of sets and reps and just putting in whatever workout I need to. For me, it's like four by eight. That's, that's like pretty much I do four four rounds of eight of eight reps of whatever movement and then I'll do like four to eight movements and actually it's six to eight movements for whatever my workout is so if I'm doing chest then that's going to be like shoulder press bench because I try and get bench in there um maybe rows and flies and I don't know some variation of something like that. And then if I'm when I'm doing glutes and legs, it's like hip thrust, leg press, leg extension, cable rows, and um, weighted donkey kicks or something like that. And then just do four by eight and I just put it in and get it done. And that's been like so, so helpful. I'm like, maybe a lot of people already just know this and have a really simple rhythm, but I really didn't realize like, you just do your lower body twice a week and your upper body twice a week and you get the gains because I like the way that I look. I feel, I know I'm getting stronger and everything. So that's been incredibly helpful. So that's been something that I have loved to have learned in the first half of 2024. So to recap, my three points that have been very, very helpful for me to learn in 2024 is first, why am I blanking? I literally feel, I literally feel like I'm blanking on it. I think I'm like hot or something because I'm like, I'm so, I'm too hyped up. Okay, so the first one is delayed gratification, really just doing the work, even if you aren't seeing the payout, just staying consistent, putting in the reps and knowing that it's going to pay off. The second is losing expectations of family. It's just, it was, it's very helpful and I'm going to continue uh, doing that. And then the third is to really simplify your working out to four days a week of lifts um, for like baseline growth right if you're trying to go like extreme obviously you need some more but like if you're just trying to slowly improve get more muscle look better four times a week is all you need which is wild to me because I always thought it had to be so much more and so much harder but that's been going really really good and I've been doing that for about six months and I feel like I've been getting stronger and getting the gains that we want so I hope this is helpful for you I will do a follow-up in six months um because then it'll be Wow, we'll be headed into new year. That's crazy. But thank you so much for listening and I hope this helps. Thank you for listening. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, I would greatly appreciate if you could share this episode with five people you think could benefit from the show. Also, please feel free to connect with me on Instagram at Izzy Chinche or my website at izzychinche.com. Thank you so much for being you. Keep being a leader, making this world a better place.